What's up, my name is Sam Miller, and today I wanted to talk a little bit about how to get annoying noise and grain out of your video footage for good. It's fast, it's easy, and it's affordable, and the pros use it, so you need to as well. Let's see how easy it is, come on. Okay, what am I talking about? I'm talking about neat video. Professional photographers, videographers, YouTubers love this software. It's a plugin available for Premiere, Final Cut, After Effects, all of the other top um, video editing soft softwares platforms, and it's available on both Mac and Windows computers, and Linux too. So, neat video. What does it do? Well, it gets rid of digital noise in your videos. So what is noise? Noise is that annoying grain you see. If you've got a video that's, um, you know, maybe you had to bump the ISO up a couple notches too high because the lighting in your room wasn't good enough or you had to go outside. Um, but noise starts to show up when that ISO gets bumped up high and it's this grainy look and we'll dig into it in a second. You can see what I'm talking about, but it's really annoying and it doesn't make your video look crispy. Everyone's crazy about uh, crispy videos these days. So it's important that you get the noise down as much as possible. Even professional photographers, um, Peter McKinnon, Maddie from Travel Fields. I'm sorry, Maddie, I can't say your last name. Um, these guys are professional top level YouTubers vlogging um, constantly and they rely on neat video for their work as well. So Peter McKinnon, he's using the 1DX Mark II um, and Maddie is using Sony and Canon cameras, different types of setup, both of them, and they both use neat video for what they do, and I do as well. So let's talk about it, get into the tutorial. I'll show you a little bit about how to use it, how easy it is to get it up and running, and let me know what you think. Okay, so let's jump into the screen. I just wanted to show you all the different platforms that Neat Video supports. They've got plugins for After Effects, Premiere, Final Cut, and all kinds of other platforms here on both PC, Macintosh, and Linux as well. Let me pull up a video file here, a little project in Premiere that I'm working on. Um, now some of these clips are pretty high grain and I wanted to show you how great Neat does at getting rid of that grain. So, <clears throat> let me take a sip of my LaCroix. Get my voice back. This stuff is amazing, by the way. Hated it when I was little, but mm. Anyways, if you look at this footage here, my face has got some grain on it. It's just a low quality, it seems low quality, seems like I did it on my smartphone or on a T3i with the sock lens, which I did. Um, up in here, you can see lots of grain. So all you have to do once you download the plugin, you just go in here, um, whether you're using the demo version or the real thing, you just drag over um, this effect, neat video, reduce noise onto your, your video file. And I've already done that here. I just haven't run the plugin, plugin. So I'm just gonna hit prepare. And then I'm going to hit build. And I hit okay. And it's going to pop up this editor here. So what I need to do now is pick the area in my, in my film that has lots of grain to make it easy for uh, the algorithm to figure out what's grain, what's noise and what's not. So looking at this photo, you can tell there's some grain on the steering wheel. There's some on my face, there's some in my jacket, but there's a really big spot up here in the, the top of the car. So I'm just gonna go ahead and select that. You need a pretty big size for it to understand what's going on and it turns up green if it's good. It tells me noise level 5.2. Um, I don't even need to know what any of that means if I don't, if I don't care to. So all I need to do now is go over to my noise filter settings and it's gonna mock up uh, what that looks like already. So look at that, okay, so wow. So my face is looking a lot clearer. The steering wheel is just starting to shine. My jacket has this nice even black to it and at the top here you can see there's really a lot less grain going on than before. So let me, let me go do some befores and afters so you can take a look at this a little bit better. Here's before. Notice closely up in here, this section, all the noise going on right here, all the noise in my face. Um, even some of the noise on this wheel here. And then let me go back to the neat version. Did you notice it? It's a little bit subtle. I'll go back and forth a couple times. If you're really staring at one spot, it's easy to see the difference here. Original, all that noise here. And with the, the plug-in going, just creamy, it just looks great. And I'm on, I'm on a pretty, pretty bad camera for, for 2018. And it just does a great job of cleaning things up. Again, here's the original. Look at all the, the grain on my face and turning on the, the filter. 
the effect there just cleans it up. And it does a great job preserving detail. Um, does a really great job. So I'll just hit apply and that is on there. Now I'm running a demo version um, just to show you today. So apologies, you can't see the whole thing, but it does, this little preview window does show you even just how much of a difference it makes looking um, inside the corrected portion and outside where the grain is. So even from here to here, um, you can really see how it's cleaned things up, clean things up on my face, clean things up on my jacket. So let's find another clip. Okay, um, so again, there's my face, there's, there's a little bit of grain in the bag. Let me back up a couple frames. It's just lots of grain. You can see everything moving around right in here as I kind of shuffle through these frames. Lots of noise going on, and I want to get rid of that. So again, what do I do? All I do is drag this reduce noise filter, this effect on, to my video file. And then over here in my video effects, so reduce noise pops up. All you have to do is hit prepare, and then build. And it's going to want us to find uh, another spot to analyze. Now you can click auto profile if you like, it'll do it itself. Or you can grab and select a spot on there yourself. Um, and for example, if you were to go and just say, hey, I want to click this, this spot, it'll, it'll tell you if the selection's not going to work with its algorithm. So I'm going to select this portion here on the jacket. A lot of grain going on there. And so let's go to filter. Look at that. Wow, grain basically gone. Again, here's the original. Look at all the grain on my face. And here's the clean version. Just the seat, it's just everything's creamy, but still crisp. Um, back to the original, look at all the grain on the seat here. Turning that on, it just smooths everything out. Um, on this bag here, lots of grain, lots of grain in the jacket, lots of grain on the seat here. This. Um, kind of tan part of the seat and when I hit the effect, it just looks great. I'll go back and forth here So you can see that a little more detail Just amazing even on such a, a camera of such poor quality as as mine um, As you can see here, I'm in the, the beginner version of the tool and you can come down and hit advanced mode and start to see What's going on and make some changes to the color profiles and all kinds of fancy things here um, but I don't need to do that. I'm, I'm comfortable with what I'm looking at and I'm guessing you are too. No matter what camera gear you've got, um, this can be a really invaluable tool. And professionals use it. Um, as I've said before, Peter McKinnon, Matty uh, with Travel Feels, they both use this. Those guys are putting out some fantastic content on YouTube right now. If you're not following them, go check them out. Um, but again, that's it. I just wanted to show you how to get rid of noise in your videos for good. Super cheap, super easy. Anybody can do it. Um, it's just a fantastic tool and you've got to put it in your arsenal if you're not using it. So that's it. Again, my name is Sam Miller. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please subscribe if you're not already and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks.